Hi, it's Stephanie again. When there are two or more trained rescuers available to provide CPR, they can delegate tasks to ensure a more efficient and effective rescue effort. Once an AED is brought to the scene, it should be incorporated as soon as possible. First, check scene safety and alert EMS. Send someone to go find an AED. Check your surroundings for combustible gases or standing liquids. Don personal protective equipment such as gloves and a mask with the one-way valve if available. Then check for a response by asking the person if they're all right and tapping them on the shoulder. Look for signs of normal breathing and check for a carotid pulse simultaneously for no longer than 10 seconds. If there is no pulse, have one rescuer begin CPR. Have the second rescuer turn on the AED machine and follow its instructions. In between compressions, remove the patient's clothing to expose the chest and make sure to dry off the chest if the patient is wet. Attach the pads as indicated on the diagram, one on the top right side of the chest and the other on the left side in the mid-axillary line just below the breast. Continue CPR for two minutes or about five cycles and then switch. One of the rescuers gives 30 compressions over the pads at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute and a depth of 2 to 2.4 inches. The second rescuer tilts the head and lifts the chin, then using the rescue mask delivers two rescue breaths, looking for the rise and fall of the chest. Try to minimize the time between compressions and getting the AED set up. This helps prevent brain damage due to lack of oxygenation. Only stop compressions long enough to get the pads in the correct location and when the AED advises you to do so. The AED will inform you when two minutes is up and reanalyze the victim. Follow its instructions and continue CPR until help arrives or the victim becomes responsive. This concludes proper two-person AED usage. Thank you for watching.